There's a scourge in your television so strong that the makers of many of your favorite shows are coming up against it, particularly the Duffer Brothers of Stranger Things who are saying you are watching wrong. And this is because of the motion, so-called motion enhancement settings. Um, if you've ever watched your television and felt it looked more like a soap opera than a blockbuster movie, that is because of motion enhancement. This is kind of, it's been, made a default setting in more modern televisions. Uh, most things are recorded at, I believe, 24 Films hertz. are 24p, 24 frames per second. Mm -hmm. um, and but typically, the, if the television settings are higher than that, let's say 60, 120, 240, it's gonna try and fill in the blanks between frames uh, as to what it thinks it should look like. And that's why you have overly, Smooth. I don't know how to describe it. So it looks like a soap opera. What's happening is your TV is really good at doing math. And so it mathematically guesses what the frames would look like between the frames. Mm -hmm. um, when you watch a movie and you're in the theater and, you, and it seems normal to you, it's in 24 frames a second. Now, if you went and saw the um, the Hobbit movies in IMAX, you're like, whoa, that looks super weird. And it's because they doubled it. It's twice, I think it was 48 mm -hmm. frames a second for that. And the thing is your brain is used to watching those frame rates. So when you see 24 frames a second, it feels more cinematic because it's like every movie that you've watched. Mm -hmm. When you watch a television show, it looks kind of normal like a television show. That's because you're it. used to watching 30 frames a second. But your, 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 TV is guessing what it probably looks like. And the people who are directing it want that cinematic feel. So on Netflix and whatnot, they're they're intentionally shooting and trying to transmit, although it doesn't mathematically work out, work out to 24 frames a second, which mm. is at least very close what it ends up trying to do if you turn those settings off. Well, the Duffer brothers themselves are two of the film slash television, cinematic television makers uh, who have come out against this, both of them um, making a pretty strong proclamation. It's shocking. We were just at Comic-Con and we walk on the main floor and the settings on every single TV is wrong. I was like, didn't a bunch of nerds put this together? What is wrong with them? <laughs> Us and everyone in Hollywood put so much time and effort and money into getting things to look just right. And when you see it in someone's house, it looks like it was shot on an iPhone. I disagree. I think it looks worse than something shot on an iPhone. Um, it's it's crazy to me that this is the default setting and it can be hard to turn it off. Uh, basically, go into your settings and whenever you see something with the word motion in it, turn it off. Yeah. Uh, because that'll be the fill in the blanks computing. And if you talk to a person who like engineers televisions, they get really frustrated as like I the settings that they program into your TV that are like cinema and whatnot are probably the result of an engineer saying, we wanna make the TV watching experience as close as possible to what the director of the video or film or whatever tried to do, except for the motion one, I think that's sports. It's more for sports when you would lose the hockey puck when it would fly across the street. But they wanted to create the option to have it as similar as possible, but they get really frustrated when you go to Best Buy and consumers just want it bright and cool looking and that's it. So they, the, the engineers are super pissed off when you people are making their decision, they think the Samsung TV looks better, but that's just because Samsung's default in-store setting is brighter and more vivid than anything else. A lot of directors try to get like, the subtlety and the, the dynamic range to be so that you see details and it's more muted. But people are like, that looks, that looks drab. Let me turn it up, like make it really, really, really bright and colorful. Mm. It's super frustrating from their perspective. And uh, my point to that is it looks bad. <laughs> Very intelligent and well-reasoned. Audience, do you think there's anything that looks better with motion enhancement besides sports? Uh, please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.